No, definitely not. <laughs> Yours your take. The only thing I'd say maybe now is Barky's. I think everybody's starting to realize he's he's not exactly underrated now. I think he's <laughs> just right. Uh, he's yeah. been a, obviously a great hockey player for us for the last six years. So um, well deserved. And Yans is Yans is Yans. He's funny. He's a funny guy. Everybody knows about it. So uh, also well deserved. To, but to the point on Barkov, I mean, he's also in the top five or whatever, so it's it's kind of like oh, enough of the underrated stuff at this point. Huh? Yeah, I, I think at this, I mean, he's you can give him all the all the like any, all the credit he, he yeah. deserves, and he'd still be underrated. So, um, yeah, he definitely well deserved. Jake's back in the line. I'm back on your line. You've had some success with him this season. What do you like about what he brings to that line and that dynamic? He just brings energy to the line. He brings. Uh, he works works his butt off, so um, he'll get in on the four check. He'll make sure he gets the puck back for us, and uh, that'll help create some space for me and Hoff. And what do you see defensively as a challenge tonight? They're a team that really doesn't have that one power line. It seems like all four lines are pretty equal and can score. Yeah, they work hard. They work really hard. So we're definitely gonna have to come out ready to play. We can't come out slow. Um, when we played against them in Arizona, they were coming at us from all angles. So we got to make sure we're ready. And nice to see Lou back in uh, back in the line tonight. Yeah, always nice to see Lou back in the back in the net. Um, Brings a little bit of confidence to our team. Is the third period driving you guys crazy? Because you've been so close, and you, you really have bounce here, play here, and the whole season's different. Uh, especially tight games, you look at the numbers going into the third period. I don't think anybody's. I mean, I don't, we're not thinking about it going into the yeah, third no. period. But yeah, it's obviously we've had a struggle uh, winning the closer games. So I mean, it's a maturity thing. Uh, there's a few things that we obviously need to touch up. Mm. And, uh, we have a lead, we need to be able to sustain it, and whenever we're down a goal, we have to have the confidence that we're going to continue to uh, make a push and score a goal to, to get back in. You're yeah, right there. I mean, yeah, it's it's just, a couple bounces here and there, like mm -hmm. you said. Obviously, Berg has been great all season, but just this last month, he's really been, seems like a whole other level. What are you seeing as a teammate from him? Yeah, he's just, he's Berkey. He does everything out there that, that most guys can't, and uh, he's been a great leader this, this last little bit. He's he's trying to take over games, and he's doing a great job. Well, there's been a few. Oh, yeah. A bunch of, uh, a bunch of polls, yeah. And, and yeah, the Barky one. one funniest, I guess, uh, of the group. Who did, Barky? He handled one funniest. Oh, yeah. Barkov okay. one most underrated. Uh, give okay, me, yeah. Give me your take on those two. Uh, I mean, they're, they're both well-deserved. I, I saw the one that Barky won. Uh, he was, like, top five best players in the league, and then he was still most underrated, which is pretty impressive <laughs> that um, – that the league has already recognized him as one of the top five players, and and yet still the most underrated. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. It seems like no one in the league, no player, thinks he's underrated. Correct in the NHL, it just seems like outside perspective, people consider him underrated. Would you say? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, I think that um, the players respect his play uh, a lot, and um, it's hard not to the, the way he plays, and, and obviously the year that he's been having this year. Obviously, the year's been great, but this last month he's just been taking it to another level. What are you seeing from him? This, uh, as a teammate this last month? Well, I think his, his offensive side of the game has, has really taken off. He, you know, he always plays so well defensively and, and does the little things that don't quite get noticed. And um, the last month or two, he's, he's really taken off offensively. And, um, you know, he's, he's such an unselfish player, but I think he's started to be a little bit more selfish and shooting the puck as, as he should be um, with the shot and the release that he has. I don't really pay attention much to the standings. It's... Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you have if you're playing a, a really good team that's at the top of the stands, you need to be ready to play. And um, if you're playing a lower team that isn't, uh, then you need to be ready to play still because they they have nothing to lose. So there's there's not really anything you can take from the standings that would alter how you should come prepared for each game. So. I think that's what makes them good. They're they're a balanced lineup with with good players on all four lines, like you said, and um, and so as much as it's less uh, about um, shutting down one particular line, everybody on our team needs to be ready to go and and just needs to, to beat the guy across from them, and and then we'll come out with uh, with a victory. It's been a little bit been riding monkey for a while, but nice to see get back in for a game tonight. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's been itching to get back in and. Um, obviously, we uh, we love it when he's back there too, and uh, can't wait to be back out there with him. You know, if couldn't get best hair, you know, you probably no, uh, no, yeah, no. It's um, to win anything, you know, at any time, whatever age you are, to you know get recognized for anything is uh, you know pretty good. Obviously, you know, by your peers and stuff too, it's uh, you know, pretty good, and something I have a little giggle at.
Yeah. Bart, it does, I'm sorry, it does create some pressure to, to make funny, though, doesn't it? No, no, I can. I, I'm done now. Yeah, you do. You do it once. Now you don't have to be funny anymore. Now I gotta teach somebody how to be funny and uh, pass the torch. Barky also rated most underrated in the league in that poll. Something been attached to his name for a while now. Is it safe to say that he's just rated at this point? It seems like everyone around the league at least knows how good he is. Yeah, I, I think that's. Uh, you know, I think the the way that you know he's came on the scene the last few years is it's. You know, everyone in the hockey world knows who he is. Everyone uh, knows what he can do. And, you know, he's probably up there with, uh, you know, the most valuable along with the most underrated. And he's leading you guys into tonight's contest against the Coyotes. What can you say about the last month you've seen from him? He's just been piling up the points. Yeah, I think their whole line, him, um, Hoff and Daddy have been, uh, I mean, no, sorry, him, uh, Hubie and Daddy have been, uh, they've been amazing. And, you know, the, the way that they've uh, controlled the puck in the offensive zone without, you know, sacrificing anything defensively. They've, uh, you know, they've played well in all three zones, I think, and, uh, you know, they've you know, done a really good job. Monty getting a breather tonight. Lou gets back in. How nice to see Lou back in there after a couple weeks off. Yeah, always good to, you know, to have Lou in there. He's a, he's a guy who brings a calmness to our group, especially when he's in there and, uh, you know, excited to play in front of him tonight. Dan, what's the mindset of the team now as you enter, you enter the last nine games of the year? The, the playoffs is a long shot, and realistically speaking, how do, you, how do you look at the, the stretch here? Well, I think the the biggest thing is just you know worrying about your your uh, you know the way that your team plays and the way that we you know we can go out and show teams how we play. And you know I think uh, you gotta you gotta play every game from one to eighty two as hard as you can, and um, you know there's. Yeah, you know, no excuses not to do that. You know, coming from the out west and being in uh, late the other night, and uh, it's probably the right thing to do. Put Lou in there; he's fresh, and uh, you know he uh, played a pretty solid game in Arizona the last time we uh, we were out there a few weeks ago. And, and talking about Lou, I mean, just obviously he's a guy that, that's going to thrive on a little bit of rest, right? I mean, you played him six, seven straight games, and then you put the kid in. Now Lou's had a couple. 10 days off, something like that? Yeah, he has, and, uh, you know, he was dealing with, uh, you know, some physical issues kind of thing, and he's he's uh, uh, he's back and, and, and healthy now. And, yeah, I think he's um, obviously the more rest Lou gets, I think the better he is. Now there's a fine line, obviously, you don't want to keep him out of game speed too, too long. But uh, he's been working hard with Tally. Um, you know, he's been a great mentor for Sammy. He's been uh, um, um, there cheering him on the whole time and giving him advice. And, and uh, you know, it's sort of been uh, neat to watch those two together, uh, you know, Louie. Tw- been around as long as he has, and Sammy, a new guy, so uh, it's been good for both of them, I think. Are those, are those tough for you to, you know, the, the sensitivity at all? I know you're the coach, you got to make the decisions, but it is a Hall of Fame goalie, and you got to decide and give a guy a look, and it's important well, yeah, for the team. Yeah. You know, I think uh, Sammy deserved a chance to play number one, and then, you know, the more he uh, stayed in there and the team started winning four in a row, uh, Lou was the first guy to say, play him again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so it, it wasn't difficult at all. I think, uh, you know, we've always been uh, pretty honest and upfront with guys, and, uh, um, you know, whether it's uncomfortable or not, that's just the uh, business we're in. And then Lou understood it and he supported it. So uh, no difficulty there at all. And as far as Sam moving on, I mean, you're still going to see him again. Absolutely, yeah. I want to, uh, um, I want to play him a lot here down the next uh, um, couple weeks, and he deserves it. And uh, you know, he's a good goalie. And and uh, even the games that uh, we lost in Anaheim. I mean, I thought we were uh, the better team, and, and, and we deserved better. Uh, even in Dallas the other night, though, we weren't so good in front of him, and he still made some big saves. So he's given us a chance to win every game he's played. Excited you to have see a thought? Jace get back in there. Sorry. Excited to see Jace get back in there. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't hear what he said. Yeah, yeah, no, Jace is a guy. Uh, um, again, he was dealing with a lower body issue as well. wasn't necessarily a healthy scratch situation. Um, he's a guy that brings energy to our lineup, and I think when you um, you come back from a West and a time change and everything else, and you you play a game, you need guys like that in your lineup that are going to be give you a little extra jump. And uh, so I'm excited to see him back in there. And uh, on that Trocheck line, I think that uh, we're trying to you know balance out the lines, and, and and we need a little energy up there. So it's a perfect fit, I think, for him. Any thought on when Keeper might get in? Um, you know, we talked about that uh, a couple of days ago. I think what we want to do is get him into, um, you know, some practices like like today. And it's only a second time on the ice with us. And, uh, you know, we still got to sit down with him. He's been in a couple of meetings, but he's still got to sit down and, uh, you know, um, get everything explained to him. And now that we're back home and, uh, um, you know, there's no timetable for it. It's more of him just getting comfortable and learning our systems and developing. And, and if the time comes where we can play him, then, uh, you, you know, we will. A little more on the line shake up a little bit in this hockey game tonight. Uh, our line shape? Yeah, 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 just, yeah. Uh, um, you, you know, I'd like to see, uh, um, 
you know, some depth scoring, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, was our, what we had some success with. We won four in a row. And then it was the, you know, the Barkoff line show for the last two games. Uh, we need to uh, get the uh, lines going underneath of them. Um, and, and the guys understand that. It's uh, uh, contributions from out the lineup at this time of year. That's how you win. And you'll see tonight in Arizona, that's what they do best probably better than anybody. They got four lines. They're all pretty even. Um, you can't necessarily say, hey, this is their number one line or two line. So um, we're going to have to be able to roll our bench, and that's one of the reasons we want to make sure that we got some balance tonight. You've been impressed with the way Arizona has responded second half? Yeah, I have. I mean, they've been dealing with some injuries, and, uh, um, you know, I, uh, I've i said earlier, I think the strength of their team is is their uh, is their defense. You look down in Ekman Larson and Jalmerson and Chikrin and Goligoski, they're veteran guys, and, uh, um, you know, and, uh, um, you know, I think that's the way we're going to have to get to them is, is putting pucks behind them and working their D a little bit and, uh, um, you know, just playing a responsible game. And we played pretty well there last time. We had a really sort of crappy start, but we played good mm -hmm. in the second half. And, and uh, um, you know, we did like to play 60 minutes here tonight. You ever scrap with uh, Jeff Chicken? Uh, no, no, wow. I played against them, never scrapped wow. them. No, nope. um, a little big, too big for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Melgan will be ready to go if you wanted to use him. Right? Yeah, Melgan's ready. Uh, it's just a matter of numbers at this point, and uh, um, you know, but he's uh, he's been good about it, and he's he's, he's waiting for his turn. And when it comes to goalies again, uh, Reimer. He said the other day that he's still working through some stuff. Has he still been hurting a little? Yeah, bit? he's got some issues, um, you know, health wise, and he's pretty well. He's close to 100%. Um, but uh, I can't say he is 100%. So um, we're gonna. Be patient and see where he's at here in the next couple of days now that we're home and uh, um, you know have to make some decisions moving forward on goaltending. NHL Players Association had a poll. They voted uh, Barkov, I guess, underrated, the most underrated, and Keith Yandel got the funniest. <laughs> I agree. That? I agree with both of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you know, with uh, Barky, we've talked about this a million times. Yeah. Just, uh, um, you know, I, I, I love that the, the league has taken notice of his second half and how hot he's been in the second half because, uh, um, you know, without Troach a little bit and, and we had some young centermen in the first three months of the season there, um, you know, it really wasn't fair to him the, the, the workload he's seen and, and probably affected his offensive numbers for sure. But since, uh, you know, the break and he got recharged and, and Troach has been back and, and, you know, the trade for Sheehan, now we got some balance in our lineup and uh, um, it's really helped his game, I think. As for Yans, yeah, he's that guy that uh, um, supplies an endless uh, uh, line of laughs and it's good. He keeps the room loose and uh, he's the heartbeat of the room. And uh, even on the bench, he's the guy that's talking all the time. Young guys look up to him and uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to have guys like that on your team.